Hi, my name is Hamish Peebles. I'm a software engineer, and since the beginning of the year, I have been building OpenChat alongside Matt. He will show you a demo of it shortly. So, what is OpenChat? Well, it's a messaging service, much like WhatsApp and Signal, but the key difference is that unlike those systems, OpenChat runs on a blockchain-backed, decentralized platform, the internet computer. We have designed the architecture of OpenChat to initially scale to thousands of users with the goal to scale to millions in the not too distant future, all while being free to use for your average user. Never before has it been possible to build such a scalable system on the blockchain, while in turn being so cheap to run that we are able to offer it for free. Although this won't be the case initially, OpenChat will eventually become what is called an open internet service. This means there is no backing company tracking and selling your data, Instead, the service is owned and managed by the holders of the service's governance tokens. And in our case, we will be distributing those tokens amongst the users. As an open internet service, all changes must be made via proposals, which are public, and any users who want to take part in the decision-making can vote on these proposals, and only those proposals which gain enough support will be adopted. Also, once we are ready to convert OpenChat into an open internet service, we will make the code public and it will be open to contributions from anyone who wants to get involved. And we will reward those who contribute by giving them additional governance tokens. These factors are why we settled on the name OpenChat. Nothing happens behind closed doors. Everything happens out in the open and everyone is welcome to get involved. And for those who just want to use it as a normal chat app, that's fine too. So, on that note, I'll pass you over to Matt, who will demo what we've built so far. Hi, my name is Matt Grogan, and I'm a software engineer and a professional community member of Definity. And I'm going to show you OpenChat. Okay, on with the demo. I'll paste the OpenChat URL into a browser. Unfortunately, this is running on my local internet computer replica, because at the time of recording, the internet computer mainnet is being bootstrapped, ready for launch. So first, I'm going to register, I need to register a new identity, a new user with an identity service provided by the internet computer. Uh, I'm just going to start from scratch and register a new identity. I need to give it the name of my device, just a friendly name. Uh, um, and I'm just going to use the touch ID, uh, which is the fingerprint scanner. I could use like a hardware security module or USB dongle uh, or various, various options and confirm and touch my fingerprint scanner. Give that a moment or two to register on the internet computer and it's given me a sort of relatively short user number which you do need to remember although it's not a secret as such. Now let's proceed. This will be a nice open chat domain name um, but for now. So proceed to open chat. And I need, now need to register a name on the internet computer. Oh, sorry, on the open chat itself. So for no particularly good reason, I'm going to call myself Jim. And I'm going to start a new chat with an existing user called Johnny. Um, hello, Johnny. How are you? Blah, blah. Um, now, as you can see, there are there's a, like a single tick appearing against these messages. That means they've been received by the open chat services. A second tick uh, will mean that they've been read by the recipient. So let's just go ahead and add a few more messages. Just going to add a send an image, and I'm going to. Oh, I can also caption an image, so I'm just going to do that. On Safari, and I can send a video. And I can send it any other file type. So if it's not a media file, it'll, it'll be sent as an attachment which the recipient can download. Right, let's have a look at the other side of that conversation. So I'm just going to 
get another one there. This is a Chrome Incognito window so that I get a different session. Um, this time I'm going to use an existing user. Um, using Touch ID, proceed to open chat. Keep that a moment. Okay, so you can see, let's make this a little bit bigger. So um, looking back here, you can see these two messages have been marked as being read by the recipient. If I actually go further back, you can see these ones further back. I still have only got one tick because they've not been read by Johnny yet. So as I scroll back, you can see the unread count decreasing. Just need to spend a couple of seconds reading the message. Um, now, as I type a message, you can see that it instantly appears on the recipient screen. And just to swap them around and vice versa. Whoops. Uh, managed to completely hide that now. Sorry about that. So as you yeah, sorry, as you can see, messages are being received instantly. And also typing notifications. So as I as I type, you can see that on the on Johnny's screen, you can you can see that Jim's typing. And yeah, vice versa. As Johnny types, you can see on Jim's screen it says that Johnny's typing. So these typing notifications and the and the and the messages are being sent using a technology called WebRTC, um, which is allows you to have a to create a peer-to-peer -peer connection between the browsers. Um, now these are these connections are brokered using the open chat service running on um, you know, running on internet computer. Um, all messages incidentally go via the open chat services, but they also go via WebRTC if that's available. Um, so if, if, if both users are online. Um, so let's have a look at something else. Um, if I go to a previous chat, as you can see, the scroll bar is, you know, takes up about a third of the, there are a certain number of messages that have been loaded. As I scroll up, you can see that more messages are being loaded dynamically. It's an infinite scroll. Um, now, that's just another feature. You can so you can reply to a, a particular message. This is pretty standard chat functionality. So I can I just reply to that. Um, uh, just seems to be a picture. I think I can't find one. <laughs> That's very boring. So if I now click on that, it'll take you back to the, you know, the actual message you're replying to. Um, now, so let's bring a third window into play. Well, first of all, I'm just going to create a new um, new group and so show group chat group poker. Give that a moment to be registered and start adding some participants. Alias and join. Bob. Oops. Okay, and now if I start from there, we can see that in the poker group I've received that message. Let me just quickly sign in on a third window. This is Bob, or hopefully it's Bob. Proceed. Yeah, you can see that Bob's received the message too. 
Um, so let's join this on next. Come on for Pope Ignite. Um, so Jim, for some reason, is being coy about this because it's going to reply privately. So typically, if you reply, it's the whole, you know, anybody can see it, but you can reply privately. No, I can't make it. Again, a standard chat feature. Um, but this will appear in in Johnny's, um, you know, in the, in, a, in, a, in the direct chat with Johnny rather than the group chat. And then if I click on the message, it takes takes me to that message in the in the group chat. Um, so now let's try something else. So if I can I can search chats, users, and messages. So let's just try that. If I so it, it basically matches on um, the names of chats any messages which contain text and um, yeah, any users as well that, I've, you know, that I know about. So let's just take a poke there. And again, well, that wasn't particularly interesting because I've just come from there, but so yeah, it takes me to that that particular chat where that message was and and that particular message. So search is actually something that open chat can do quite well. Other popular chat apps such as WhatsApp use end-to-end -end encryption to secure message data, but that means that search of message, messages can only be done based on the data stored on the user's mobile device. However, being built on the internet computer, open chat does not need to use end-to-end -end encryption to secure users' messages because of the inherent security of the platform. This means the search data is available on the user's own chat canister, and so search over the user's entire chat history is possible from any device. Um, now let me show you something else. So this is a feature unique to open chat, well, amongst chat services, which is that you can you can send cycles to other um, to other users. So cycles are similar to gas in Ethereum and are used to pay for internet computer resources down to the CPU instruction and byte of memory. As such, the basic unit is in trillions or T for short. So as a developer of the of the internet computer, I need to I need to hold, you know, developers need to hold wallets of cycles to pay for the running of, of apps. Um, now there's a whole story around voting tokens, token economics, and cycles. But in short, users can buy uh, IC internet computer tokens, ICP, or in the future, open chat tokens um, when it becomes an open internet service. Um, and these ICP can be converted into cycles, and potentially open chat will give away um, its you know, voting tokens to. Uh, early adopters, or well, some proportion of voting tokens to early adopters, which users can then convert into, into into cycles. So a trillion cycles can be bought for roughly a dollar's worth of ICP tokens. Um, and in the demo, we've basically given every user 10 T, 10 trillion cycles to start with. Um, so it's also showing, it just happens to show the conversion into, the, into your local currency. Um, this is the, you know, how much it would that would cost um, in pounds. Um, yeah, so it's get, easy for you to get a feel for the number of cycles you're, the amount of cycles you're holding. Um, so let's just send. Well, let's just send Jim. Um, One point five trillion. Let's do that. And so if we look at, yes, yeah, so sorry, if we look at my balance now, you can see it's Johnny's balance is down to 8.5. And if you look at Jim's balance, you can see that's up to 11.5. Um, okay, that's all I'm going to show today. Hope you've enjoyed it and enjoy the rest of the, rest of the show.